Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to get the Minecraft 1.3 pre-release so you get all those crazy cool new features and bonus chests, new worlds and cheats and all that good stuff you can do and uh, and now the single player runs a multiplayer server just for like optimization and stuff and anyone on your LAN which is your local area network or anyone in your house basically connected to your router they can join your single player game because it's running that server and that's built in now. So there's an extra folder we'll have to make and I'll show you how to do that. So first of all you need to go to mojang.com and if you look down here at the pre-release there's a little link right there. You need to download both of these. The minecraft server.jar and the minecraft.jar. Right click on them, click save link as and make sure it's as an executable jar file. Save that one and then do the same thing for the server hit executable jar file save okay so now you know you got both of the, oh was it going kind of slow oh it's taking its time downloading okay so while that's uh, finishing downloading kind of slow go to your start menu this is windows 7 uh, do percent app data percent bring that up now here's where your normal minecraft save files and mods and all that stuff are in dot minecraft and uh, you want to make a backup of this so you don't lose your save files so let's just rename this minecraft underscore or dash or nothing really backup you can make a new folder and copy and cut but uh, if you just do this it's a little bit you know then you know that you saved that exact one you didn't mess up a copy or a paste so you've got that run minecraft again well here let's just look at it see there's all, all our stuff okay run minecraft again so it'll make a new dot minecraft folder because you can't just create one it doesn't let you uh, windows says like you must type a file name it thinks that it's your, that you're doing an extension so just run that and close it then you got your empty minecraft folder take your backup drag select all those control c the copy go back and paste all that into your new dot minecraft folder then you basically now you have two folders with the same thing one named backup just in case you botch this this upgrade somehow i don't know how you would okay go into dot minecraft go into bin see mine's a little different looking because i had upgraded before but that's okay this is just you know older version newer version that's just how it does it so let's go check our downloads they should be done now now that, mine saved it as a WinRare archive. Oh, that's just, no, it's because it opens. Okay, if yours looks like this, it says it's a WinRare archive, but it is a .jar file. See, it's just that I use WinRare to open it, and so it set it says that it's WinRare archive, but it's not. It's just, you can open it with WinRare, you know? You get what I'm saying? Okay, so anyways, take that, and you might have yours showing in folder and search options. Mine shows uh, display the full path. In the title bar, you could do that. No, oh, well, that's the full path. That wasn't what I wanted. Anyways, there's probably a there's a way to show the extensions here somewhere. Um, hide extensions for known file types. That might be it. See, now it shows it. Dot jar. I should leave that on. So now we know, and it's just that it's able to open with WinRare or 7-Zip or whatever program you're using. So let's take that and copy it. Put it over here in your bin. Copy and replace. And now you also need to back up to the dot minecraft. You need to make a new folder, call it server. Open that up and copy the minecraft underscore server dot jar over to there. Okay, we'll close those out. Now we'll run our minecraft and we should see now that it says 1.3. There you go. Minecraft 1.3 and uh, next week this is uh, Thursday right now next uh, I think Tuesday or Wednesday uh, I forget they're going to release it for real and that means when you log in it'll ask tell you there's an update and you have that option to update from there but this gets you it early so let's go here single player create a new world game mode you know, put on creative more world options bonus chest allow cheats generate structures world type that was there before so uh, I'll just type 1.3 here alright that throws you right into it 
And let's see what we got here. And now you can see this. Look at this. Bonus chest. You don't even have to work to start. Whoops. That's, uh, there we go. See, look at all this stuff. It gives me some bread, uh, some planks, some sticks, another stick, planks, planks. Just spreads out stuff. It's pretty random. One piece of wood, an axe, and a pickaxe. So that's pretty nice. Um, you don't have to, like, even get the stone before you have a nice pickaxe to start mining. <clears throat> so, there you have it. That's all that it takes. And uh, apparently now with the single player running a server, it's just, I don't know, saves less or uh, just better resource use, I guess. And uh, there's a whole lot of changes in 1.3. I might make a video explaining that. If you go to Mojang.com also, you'll see that they are having a little kind of contest where you can make a commercial style thing explaining the new features. And next Wednesday, I believe, they're going to uh, put three of the top videos that they choose on their YouTube channel. So that's pretty cool. I might do that and you should do the same. So I hope this helped you out. If it did, give me a like and a favorite. And uh, if it didn't, comment, let me know. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.